Hey, what is going on, you guys? This is Superplay Negative AE, and welcome back to Night in the Woods. Let's just get right into it. Hi. Hello. Oh, wow. Are you okay? No. <laughs> okay. What's going on? I don't think I can talk about it. You're gonna have to start talking sometime, kitten. I wish I could. Why can't you? I don't even know. <laughs> That's how it is sometimes. It's not always a great reason. I know. It's just... I've been having these dreams. And I keep thinking I see a ghost. A ghost? And I've had these horrible nightmares that feel really real. And I think something bad is going to happen. And I've been running around doing all this stupid stuff. And where's it all going? What is my life? What is even my life right now? I think I patched up some stuff tonight. But, like, everyone is on their way somewhere else. And I had that big fight with mom. Kitten, it's okay. And, 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 shh, kitten, take a breath. Okay, okay, okay. Why don't you get some sleep? Can I just stay down here for a bit? As long as you like. I like dad. <laughs> Garbo, Gar, Garbo, Garbo, and Malloy. Malloy, Garbo. Ever think about, you know, the afterlife? I don't have a life as it is. Why, Garbo? You think so? You think there's someone up there watching? I just hope anyone's watching at this time slot. These are big questions, Garbo. Don't get any bigger, Malloy. Are you a churchgoer, Garbo? Hey, the last time I was in church, they hadn't invented religion yet. You were making it up as we went along. Okay, so we all think there's a god, right? We should have potlucks. Can't have a church without potlucks. You could, Malloy, but it would be a whopper. I don't know if I find that very funny. I don't know if they need to change their next line. Coming up next, Garbo and I contact the dead. Very interesting. Oh, wanted to jump backwards onto the stairs. That's very dangerous, though. Don't ever do that. <laughs> All right, I guess we check uh, our instant messenger. Yo, what's going on, instant messenger? We got Greg and B to talk to. Hey, Keed. Went to a party. Danced at a party. Ran around in the rain. Met a hot girl. Totally didn't get her number. She's a bombshell, though. Wow. Sounds like an awesome night. It was a mixed bag. But all in all, I'd party again. We need to do more parties. You are very right. Alright, I'm off to bed. Latest. Hey you. Hey me. I am so tired from tonight. I bet. Did you run all the way to the river? Yeah, on the roofs and stuff. That dancing, like, that and dancing really take it out of you. That's like really, that's really nice, May. That you did that. 
Uh, it was nothing. Wait, it wasn't nothing? Um, go get some sleep. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for running after me. Oh, I never go away. You'll never be rid of me. I can think I can think of f f worse fates. Damn, I cannot speak. I think B is very in a very interesting person. I think all of these people are pretty cool. I, I still don't get like the how this universe works because dream oh no dream I still don't know how this universe works because there's pets but then there's also a fox that's dating a bear and there's also an alligator that just talks with cats so I'm assuming that every Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me. You mess with all of us. Going to see the next Blank Tones next week. Very interesting. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Hello, May. Pickaxe. At it. Me. You know the drill. Well, I kind of want to hang out with B. Since Greg was hanging out with other shit today. I feel like... I feel like Greg's moving. Me and B need to hang out more. I don't know why I need to go in there again. Mom? Why don't you ever want to say hi anymore? Mom. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh jeez, mom, it's fine. It's very much not fine, hun. I'm an adult, I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May. Hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah, I got stuff to do. What is it that you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hun. Please take it easy. I will. I love you. Love you, too. Bop, bop, bop. Let's go. Let's go talk with B. I don't know. Do I want to hang out with Greg or B today? I feel like me and B just bonded. Oh, God. What's happening here? What do you want? Hello to you, too, May. Well, wanted to let you know. You're in a test on that arm you f you guys found a week, a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested. Is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man, and medium build. He was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means. It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. It was like detective stories when you were a kid. Okay. Yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Interesting. I'll have a nice evening. 
Aunt Borowski. Yo, Selmers, what's going on? Hey, Selmers. Jeez, mate, are you sick? Nah. Just tired. Got a headache. Why are you running out and around? Or running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Hell yeah. The stars, the stars. Like lights on cars. Drive across the dark and never park. It's true. They are like that. I got one ready for longest night. Oh? Longest night. Longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks. I'm feeling festive. So what is longest night, I wonder? You noticed anything, like, weird around here lately? Weird as in... Missing kids? I don't think so. Not recently, at least. That Casey kid last spring. But he weren't... He weren't kid no more. Maybe someone else from another town? I'm sure I'll remember. You know I asked that, but I didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. Forecasting is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Uh, gotta get soon. Gotta get cold soon. Snow soon? I'd like to see that. Getting cold this early. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. Like how that guy's given up on trying to get me to. Uh. To get off his porch. We're just on his porch every day now. Music is still kicking though. I like the music. Hey, hey B, what's going on? Whoa. Whoa. Dude, are you okay? Yeah, I guess, sure. Tired, had a headache for days. You should go like home and rest. I feel like you'd be able to veg out pretty well. Nah, I'm fine. Doing stuff helps. How are you feeling about the whole ghost thing? Bad. I mean, since it happened, I don't feel rested in the morning. And I feel like someone else is in my head. My skull is going to explode. So yeah, not good then. Nope. Mm. Did you still want to check out the graveyard? Okay, well, let me know. Um, I kind of do. Let's let's check out what Greg has to say. We'll still probably talk to Angus, assuming he's in the shop and it's not that one girl. Video opus two. Hi. My legs are still sore from running from that dude. I'm just sore in general. I'm tired. In general. My life doesn't involve a lot of running. <laughs> I feel like I should have some sort of clever comment to follow that up. You can get back to me. Alright, thanks Angus. Angus doesn't talk much. Just reminds me of me. I feel like if Angus, if Angus tried a little harder, he could like be outgoing. What do we got going on, Greg? Hey, man. Hey. How are you holding up? Got a splitting headache. I feel like I barely slept, even though I slept a lot. 
Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Kill me. Kill me. Bang. I shot you. Thanks. So, what are you up to today? Just saying hey. I'm guessing this is Hangout. Yeah, just saying hey. Hey! Alright, well I wanted to say hi to you. I feel like Greg has Angus and B has nobody. Let's go hang out with B. At the very least, like, Greg can hang out with Angus and I hang out with B. And if Angus and Greg are going away, that's sad. And you want to spend time with them while they're going away, but like at the same time, B's all I'm going to have left. If we think about it, B's literally the only thing I have left when they leave. So let's go talk to B. I like B's music too. You still want to check out the graveyard? Actually, yeah. Let's do it. The graveyard. Let's check it out. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year round. Hey, B? Yeah? Sorry again about last night. Ah, uh, that's cool. Who needs a social life? This is social. It sure is. What do we got going on? It's a graveyard, all right. Well, there's the statue. Oh, also spooky. I thought you were, like, actually kind of afraid. I mean, I am, but, like, whatever. So, we wait here? Yeah. And a ghost shows up? This isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. <laughs> know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh, things like monumentally screwed. Things are like monumentally screwed right now. And no one in power gives a shit. They're actively making it worse. Out of spider profit. Whoa, jeez. <laughs> I meant like a skeleton or something. Just straight up like bringing up politics. All right, sorry. Okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something and you make it spookier. All right. How about this? Skeleton in your hallway at night. I like that better. A regular stranger dude in your hallway at night. And he's got a knife. And he's got a knife. And he's a pharmaceutical CEO. <laughs> what? <laughs> he jacked up the prices of meds that keep people from dying. Um... And he's a skeleton? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Skeleton CEO with a knife. All the things you're afraid of are boring. Scary stuff is like really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What are we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? This is dumb. Let's go. Hold on, what's over here? Okay, so... I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally no problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? 
about your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll go check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying when I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at my school. It's like something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. Did I just follow you? I mean, I was supposed to check out a grave or three, right? Can I get up on this hill up here? Like, if I jump, can I, like... No. Rose. Hmm, standard head zone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. 95 years, wow. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. And she had to, like, look out the window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet. Like any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. This is a decent run. 14 years old, taken by the flu? Damn. Aw, oh, dang. Lived, like, 14 years. Poor family. Okay, I'm just sad now. What? This one doesn't even have a death date. Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hm. Okay, I'm gonna guess... He loved this bike. He loved it so hard. He smooched it. So right. Jeez, V. How long does it take? How long does a mom visit take? Tick tock, Beatrice. We got places to be. Holy crap. I'm a jerk. Alright, let's go. I just wanted to check out some graves. I don't do the triple jump here. Why are there red sparkles? Oh, hi. Hey. Uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. That, that's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill, so I was worried. Like, you worried the ground's just gonna cave in? What well, part of sinkhole is difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. Yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And like, voices. Huh. That's a... Spooky. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh yeah, sure. Let's check this out. Music? Hi. Ho, oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead, but they shall give you none. Who the hell are you? Mere messengers, observers, meddlers, teens. They're weird teens. Oh. Alright, well. 
We are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We shall govern. We govern who shall pass. And who shall remain. Alright, well... Answer us these questions. Truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, okay, fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? You can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer. Yes. It was fantastic. Really? No, I'm very much lying. Okay. And you? Yeah. What? When? Summer, before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? This was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this? Who did this happen with? Uh, you don't know him. It was at math camp. Math camp? What is math camp? You go and do like math stuff? And camp stuff? And apparently have lots of sex? <laughs> it wasn't good. Top notch math though. This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something, like, spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, be really smart, likes good music, and we go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. <laughs> you're gonna, like... <laughs> you're gonna... Like, you're gonna wrestle, or you're going to, like, watch wrestling. I could wrestle. I don't care if it's a guy or a girl. But they'd have to be, like, grr. Because I don't want... I don't even want to date someone who's not grr. So you're gonna wrestle this person. Yeah, they'd be super tough and cool. And we'd be all tired and dirty and bleeding. And then we'd like lay on the floor and tell each other secrets. That's actually really sweet. I guess. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> that's it? What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh god. Uh, one time in high school, I went to the prom with this guy Cole. Oh wow, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I've been wanting this story for years. And it was awkward, and I had to wear a dress. And... I couldn't slow dance, and he was really nice and stuff, I guess, and I tried to kiss him, but somehow I screwed it up and drew blood. You bit him. How bad did you mess up this kiss? I have no idea, but he was bleeding a lot. So I, I like rushed him to the bathroom to get his pa paper towels. So I'm shoving these paper towels into his mouth. And I overdo it and he starts choking and like fighting back. And I'm like chowing down on candy almonds. From where? I stole them from the tables and shoved them down my dress. And so I'm like plowing through these almonds. And one gets caught in my throat. Poor Cole w has like slumped against the bathroom wall. And I try to give myself the Heimlich maneuver. And it works but I puke all over Cole. Chicken cordon blue. This is amazing. Right then, someone walks in and sees Cole dazed and bleeding and choking, and me puking into the sink. So I pull the paper towels out of Cole's mouth, and for some reason I think to flush them down the toilet. And that just makes it overflow. So then I grab Cole and pull him out of the bathroom, 
and both of us covered in puke and blood and toilet water, and he ran away and left, and he was my ride. How did you get home? Thanks to that kid Josh who rode his tractor to prom. So we're slowly driving to my house, cars slowing down and honking, while I'm on the back crying my eyes out. That was seriously messed up. May, I, I, I have nightmares about it like once a week. I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Yeah. Can we pass now? Yeah, nobody's gonna top that. You have come face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass was in your hands all along. What? What the effing hell? You may go. God damn it. Go to hell, teens. <laughs> I hate everything right now. Forget it. Let's go. Interesting. I'm not sure what that was, but whatever. So, like, ghosts? Ghosts. Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but yeah. So, you know how you said you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's, or super believe. It's just not, it's not just dreams. Damn. Because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like, did you ever see my mom? No. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were like, people? They're not just like, sitting around being ghosts. It's more like, echoes? Echoes of shit that happened and people that were here? Oh. Trust me. None of the places looked like super much, like, super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang there. <laughs> That's like... I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. So the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big ass gate. Why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out. And to stop what you're probably going to do. Mm. Yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at things, or you're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit. Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost, I'm just the driver. Fine, hang out, I'll be back. This gate? Oh, I see what I have to do. There's no way I'm gonna leave B behind. Ah, uh, Beatrice. Just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. How do I break that gate open? Okay. Uh, I have an idea. Get on top of here. Get on top of here. Wait, wait, let's do that again. Bop, 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 bop. Shit. Bop, 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 bop. Flip, I, I want to jump on that top branch. Hi, B. Uh, I sure hope nobody saw that. 
We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here. And it's getting late. Mm-hmm. You're welcome, by the way. You see, I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So, what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find Little Joe's grave. And if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. Not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground here's all swampy. Ugh, gross. So what do we do here? Uh, I guess I'm gonna look around? For ghosts? Uh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing, it's cool. May, I am here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone stowed. Thank you. Any ghosts over there? No, B. You'd know. I'd say. <laughs> okay. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. This grave is for a horse, I think. I don't think they buried horses in people graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Do I look around back here? I don't think so. I don't think there's much to look around back here. Alright, so do I talk to B? Talk to B, I guess. B! Let's go. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is... Is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm gonna smash this shit up. Whoa, 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 dude, hold up. No. Wakey, wakey, little Joe. Motherfuck, what? How do I smash this shit up? Oh, that's not good. Holy shit. Holy shit. What did you do? You were right. About what? I didn't tell you to do that. About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait. Is that... Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh, crap. So, we're gonna open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. It's not rotting anymore. Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. Aren't you kind of curious at least? Done. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I'm standing here. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. May, you're taking forever. Take this thing. Ah! We knew it was going to be a skeleton in there. So what? Foul play? Who knows? 
We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. We're like grave robbers or something. Those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? There's someone back there watching us. Oh god. I don't know where they went. Just like out of the corner of my eye. Is it? Don't know, but we need to leave now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone now. Okay, fine, jeez. Oh wow, I didn't even see that bitch over there. Was he there the entire time? <laughs> well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Okay, fine, but he was there. May. It was the groundskeeper or something. Investigating who was ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Uh, I saw the effing ghost. Why does nobody... Car. I've got some migraine pills that we can get and we can get you home. No. We need to talk to everyone tonight. What? Everyone. Okay, okay, okay. I need everyone. Stop talking. Go get in the car. What happened to me? Did I get poison darted? Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here? Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have any idea what's going on? I have no idea. But there's a ghost, and it's after me. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening to you. I just... Don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better ex explanations for all of this. Like what? You have sudden st uh, stress migraines. And you saw something that freaked you out. That makes you stress out. I get migraines. In May. You've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And, I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine. Fine, whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. If you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You really gonna hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Listen. I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Ah, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Ah, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. <laughs> Thank you for believing me. Mostly, I just don't want you wandering up around there, alone, at night. Close enough. Alright, let's hunt some ghost. Haven't been on a hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. 
All right. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Let's go. It's gonna be a longer episode. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna end it right here. This will be an interesting uh, intervention for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed his episode, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, do that as well. Um, wow. Lots of stuff happened. Hope to see you guys in the next episode, guys, and peace out.